Have you ever thought about the legacy that you're leaving for the generations to come? I mean, just take a second and think about it. If somebody was to follow in your exact footsteps, would you be happy about it? You see, sometimes we don't realize that the things that we do, um, whether we're doing it consciously or unconsciously, they leave a path for the persons who follow behind us. Now, one of the things that you will notice if you read through the book of Genesis, you'll realize that it's um, Abraham actually had a habit of lying about Sarah. Like he told her when they went to Egypt that, look, just tell them that you're my sister, right? Because I don't want nobody killing me for you because you too pretty girl. But when he, you know, and she did that and the results were not good. And he went on and when she, she came, when they came into Abimelech's country, the same thing because it was his habit. But if you realize as it went on through the generation, he had a bunch of liars in his, in his, in his path. He had, you had Jacob who was the usurper. You had Isaac who did exactly the same thing as um, Abraham did. And if you continue to go through the lineage, you'll realize that the legacy continued. So I want you to think about um, the legacy that you're leaving today. I want you to think about the path that you are setting for those who follow. And if it's not a path that you want them to be on, if it's not a trajectory that you want them to be on, you can pivot. You still have the time.